Hi there, this is Piyush. I'm going to talk about market basket analysis today. The very interesting analysis when, to want, when you want to analyze uh, the purchasing pattern of the customers, you know, the buying pattern of the customers. So example would be, you know, when you try to make any purchase through Amazon or Flipkart, they always show you that you know, the customer who purchased this also bought so-and-so item. So they try to tempt you to make an additional purchase. So yes, that is what market basket analysis is. And we will see how to do market basket analysis using Tableau. Okay, let's get into that. Okay, there are a couple of methods that we are going to see. There are a couple of visualization that can be built using Tableau. Both are very you know interesting. And we will cover both the analysis. I know it's, this video is going to be a little long, but I think it's worth understanding both the method. Uh, let's see. So the first one that you see, it's, it's very self-explanatory. You know, I have used sales superstore data that comes with Tableau. And it basically saying that, you know, there are, it's, there are very good insights coming out of it, you know, uh, the one which is very dark in shade is saying that there were 275 orders for binders in which papers were also ordered. You know, it's helping you to understand the relation between any purchases, you know, which are the product which are more frequently purchased together, you know, in a combination. So, yeah. Uh, similar analysis can be done in a different way. Okay. So here is a different approach, you know, again, it's giving a similar insights, you know, when you, but it's it, it will basically help you to see in a more slicing way. If you want to see, make sure the, if instead of showing everything together, it allows you to make a selection. Let's say if I select accessories, it gives you uh, the number of orders in which accessories were purchased along with other additional uh, products. Let's say if binders, where there were 161 orders in which binders and accessories were bought together. Okay. I would I would like to give credit to Anthony Smoke. You know, I have learned this analysis through his webinar. A very, very interesting, very useful analysis. There is one improvisation I have done. You know, when you hover, you also get to see the you know the percentage of uh, customer that you know, uh, bought this two items together. Okay, let's see how to do that. I'll create an, I'll take a new tableau here. Okay, let's, and we'll connect this with uh, super store data. I'll take the order data set. Now for the first visualization that we saw, we need to basically join order with order. And yeah, everything will make sense as we move forward. Right now it may be a bit confusing, but yeah, you'll understand what why we are doing this. I'll join this. I'll uh, define the relationship. Very first thing is order ID. What's wrong with this? One more relation we need to do here. It's subcategory with subcategory. Okay. Now go back to your sheet and put your subcategory in row and column shelf. So this one is from the first data set and the other one is from the second data set. I'll make it entire view. Okay, one thing we need to do here is we need to make it not equal to. Okay, now I'll put my order ID in 
text shelf. I'll make this as count distinct. Also put order ID in your color shelf and make it count distinct. Okay, change your mark type to square. Here we go. So now <clears throat> we are getting the insights what we you know are looking for. There are some bad data we want to get rid of that. I'll just exclude null values. Okay, now it's giving what we are looking for, but it's giving a duplicate information on the right and the left. Okay, we'll see how to get rid of that. I will say less than equal to. Okay, so now we have. Uh, but it's also giving the relation between uh, accessories and accessories. So we already know that, you know, accessories is going to be on the order for accessories. So we don't want this also, I mean, the same relation. Now, let's see how to do that. We'll do less than. Here we go. So our first visualization is ready. It's giving very good insights. It's helping you to understand if there is any, you know, uh, pattern, if there is any relation between product. Uh, so very good insights that's coming out for paper and binder. I mean, uh, so the customer who make purchase for binders, they frequently buy, uh, they frequently also buy papers in it. You know? So very good analysis is kind of giving you a relation between two products. So yeah, let's see. Let's see the similar insights. You know, using different visualization. I can create one more sheet here. I need to do some preparation. You know, let's create a parameter. Let's name this as user selection. Now, in this, instead of seeing everything together, I want to make it more. You know, user friendly. Like. Uh, you get to see the information that you're looking for by making a selection. Let's select this as a string and I'll, I need a list. I'll take the values from my you know data. I don't want to type everything. You know, it's going to be very cumbersome if I type it and I'm sure you will also not, not like uh, to see me typing. Let's select it from subcategory. Okay. So our parameter, parameter is ready. Let's do show parameter. I'll change this to single value list, okay? Now, the next thing I want to do is I want to write a calculated field. I will name this as additional order. Okay, if subcategory is not equal to user selection user selection is my parameter then subcategory else array okay take your additional order and put it in your row shelf okay i'll make it as entire view so that it's very clear all right. Now, you know, what is array? Array is the selection that you make, you know. Whatever selection that you make, based on the formula that you have written, it will show array. And it, I'll, expl I'll explain it a bit, you know, uh, that what says does it make. Okay. Now put your order ID in text shelf. Let's make this as count district. I'll change this to bar chart. Okay. Yeah. Make a tar view. I'll sort the information. 
Now, this is giving me all the orders for binders. You know, this is giving a simple insights, but what we are looking for uh, is the joint orders based on the selection. I want to see accessories with binders, accessories with papers. Now, let's see how to do that. Okay. I'll create one more calculated field. I'll say batch, batch selection. Oh my God, sorry. If subcategory is equal to user selection, that one L zero. Now create a set. No, I'll create a set or by order ID. I'll do a all question that I'll select a condition. The condition that I want is based on the calculated field I just created. That is batch selection. I'll say greater than or equal to one. So basically we only want, you know, uh, the orders which are matching with the user selection, right? Hence we are doing this. And I'll take my set and put it in my filter sheet. So now here is our insights. Now it's also giving NA. NA is the user selection. So we already know accessories, accessories is going to be the is going to be the order for accessories. So, okay. so we need to get rid of this NA. I'll just right click and exclude it. Okay, and now here, here we go. In a way, this is the insights that we are looking for. I'll put my order ID label shelf. Now it is giving the insights, you know, that we want. So now what it is saying is uh, the current selection is accessories. There were 161 orders in which accessories and binders were placed together. We can make it more interesting by putting, you know, it is a row shelf, you know, so darker the order which says you know uh, better the relationship is now uh, let's see how to find a total percentage of customer that bought you know out of the total customer who bought binders what percentage of customer also bought accessories okay let's see how to do that i'll write a calculated field we need to make a LOD expression, okay? I'll name it as a total customer. And by formula will be, I'll have to write a fixed LOD. subcategories now what i need is customer id right i am looking for a total customer of uh, customer who ordered binders i need a unique so i'll do count d customer id okay, i'll close with the closing parenthesis okay now we put in a, a total customer in now we get to see the total customer. There were 650 total customer who bought binders. Okay. Uh, bought binders. Now we want to see the total, the personal percentage of customer out of 650 that bought, you know, binders and accessories together. Let's create one more calculation. We'll name it as percentage of customer. Okay. Now I'll do count. Customer. ID divided by our uh, total customer. Okay. Now this will give you an aggregation error. To get rid of the aggregation error, you, all you have to do is put this in attribute. Okay. Here we go. I'll put this in tool tip. Okay, and I will change this to percentage.
okay here we go so it's giving good insights you know uh, it's it's telling that you know out of the total customer who bought binders 23% of the customer also bought you know accessories so yes a very good analysis that you can do to understand uh, if there is a relation between the purchases you know what are the uh, items that are frequently bought together all right that's it for today thank you very much for watching my video